telling you how, you know, what a wonderful experience this is for me to stand between two of the most powerful women in New Mexico. My mother, Yolanda. Yeah. 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 And, and, and Deb Holland, the next Lieutenant Governor of the state. of other folks that are part of the Gary King team that are up here and I, I really appreciate them all being here. I, I very much appreciate the uh, the voters of New Mexico showing confidence in me and, and for the work that we've done in the AG's office and, and the work that I've done. Um, I, I certainly want to thank uh, all of those other candidates that, that have run in the Democratic primary because we had a great a great debate, a, a discussion about the issues and you all know that, that it was that it was on the issues. Uh, and, and that we all really plan on getting together and standing together. I've, I've talked to a couple of folks already and, and we certainly uh, all got together yesterday evening in Santa Fe and had a discussion and so uh, I'm looking forward. I, I think Senator Morales was told me he was going to be your senator at the end of the room here somewhere. So, so we want to make sure that we get the senator as well. But um, let me just say that, that this evening is really <laughs> This is the part for me that's interesting. We worked hard to get here, but I think the real hard part of the race starts tomorrow morning. So, and I, I guarantee you that there is no, that, that we are, I have a friend of mine tell me, Gary, you're a marathon runner. You know, you're not a sprinter. And so, uh, so we know that, that, there is, that there is work to be done. And it is, it is so invigorating for me to be here with all of you uh, tonight, all of you Democrats, because we, as Democrats, will work together for what it, are the democratic principles in New yes. Mexico. We're going to stand together for families. We're going to stand together for the working people in, in the state of New Mexico. We're going to stand together for teachers and for education. Yeah. At the, at the apex right now. This is the battle for the future of New Mexico. Yeah. And it starts tomorrow. Because yeah. I'll tell you what, I, I, you know, I tell people this is, uh, it's, it's my homage to Bruce King and Alice King. There, there are two people that care more for the people of the state of New Mexico than anybody else. And it is my heart's desire to make sure that every child in New Mexico does better. We are 50th. In this administration, we are 50th in how we treat our children in New Mexico and child welfare in New Mexico. And that is unacceptable to me. As the governor, yeah. we will focus on children in New Mexico. We're going to make sure that children don't go to bed hungry every night. Yeah. We're going to make sure that children... Yeah. We're going to make sure that our children get a good early childhood education. We're going to be for getting our children to start learning when they're when they are at the age where they need to be helped in every single child in New Mexico. Not just children of, of, that are that have some advantage, but every single child in New Mexico deserves yes. to have a good start. And when they do that, yes. let me tell you something. The current governor's plan for our children is if they're not reading by the time they're in the third grade, we're just going to fail them. No, whatever. <laughs> but we need if our children aren't reading by the third grade, then we fail. Shame on us. We need to put the resources into our children so that we know that they're going to be successful in New Mexico. And that's what a King administration is going to be all about. And let me tell you something. Children, Youth, and Family Department, it's time. My mother had a vision for Children, Youth, and Family, that it would be an agency where every child in New Mexico was cared for. And I can't believe that the, that, the, that the Secretary said that they're not a proactive agency, they just intervene whenever something goes wrong. We are going to be proactive in the King administration for children. in the last two years. And that is unacceptable to me. We, we cannot any longer be content with the fact that we are dead last. And we need a governor who will stand up and work with the legislature and work with the people in New Mexico to build our economy, to grow our economy, to be what we know that New Mexico can be. We know that, that we have the greatest people in New Mexico 
And we need a governor who cares more about the people in New Mexico than they do about Halliburton. And, and we need somebody in New Mexico that cares more about how kids are doing than they care about how things are going in Dallas. Yeah. 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 Yesterday I was meeting with senior citizens in New Mexico and veterans in New Mexico and asking them what we can do for them. Yesterday my opponent was in Dallas raising money from the top 1% of the country. And I want to tell you something, this race is not about money. This race is about the people of the state of New Mexico. This race is about what will bring us to what we know. So I want to tell you something, I, I, I look forward to the debate. I look forward to working, and I, I want to bring her in a little bit here, Deb Holland. We have the opportunity to have I, I've gotten to know Deb on the, on the campaign trail, and she is, she is a brilliant woman. She will be the first Native American in the history of this country to hold this high level of office. At the yeah. She is one of the brightest and the best that New Mexico has to offer. And, and this is something else I'm going to guarantee you in the King administration, is that we know that there are New Mexicans that can run the Human Services Department. We know that there are New Mexicans that can run the Workforce Development Office and make sure that people who are hurting get help from the state of New Mexico instead of having impediments put up to what they're doing in the state of New Mexico. We will no longer outsource our jobs to Minnesota. We won't outsource our jobs to New Mexico until we grow in the state of New Mexico. And so I very much look forward to representing you. We have our work cut out. Tomorrow is a new day for the state of New Mexico, and we are going to take on the big money, and we're going to take on the big corporations, and we're going to take them on with people power. We're going to take them on with you, and with you, and with you, and with everyone, with teachers, with working people, with, with our friends in, in organized labor. We are going to take them on with, with everybody in the state of New Mexico is going to stand up and say, enough, enough enough of, of government that doesn't care about us. We want government that cares about us. That's what we're bringing in. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah.